Hey guys, I'm Will Patterson, and today I'm going to be showing you in this video sponsored by Vectory how to take your portfolio, your designs, your client presentations to the next level by making it 3D. Don't panic, 3D is actually more simple than you've ever thought of. In this video, I'm going to be showing you why and how. So this here is Vectory. This is actually a 3D program. It's software that you use in the browser to create 3D assets. And 3D has become this huge thing over the past few months, especially because of the rise in NFTs and the metaverse. Vectory in itself is basically a 3D design tool for 2D artists. And I'm a 2D designer, so taking things into 3D has always been difficult. But today, I'm gonna to show you in this video how this program works and why you should be using it. Now, if I wanted to take my logo design, my new one, to the next level and make it 3D and put it into a cool presentation, I can do that within this app super easily. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to create a new document. This is the 3D area. And from playing around with this app for a while, I found out a few different ways to create these really cool soft shadow effects. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna add ambient occlusion soft shadows and adjustments for later on. As you can see inside of my Figma, we've got our basically our brand guidelines that we're starting out on. And we've got this really nice orange brand color that we're using. So I'm gonna use that as the background for this. And I'm gonna do that by going to background, create the brand color there, but I'm gonna actually make it a radial gradient to make it even better. I'm just gonna increase that tiny bit gives it a bit more depth. Now you'll be thinking it's difficult to take in a 3D object, but I found this is the easiest thing you could ever do. All I need to do is go to Figma, take my logo, which I'm gonna use this one, the one without the circle around it. I'm gonna export it and just drag it into Vectory. Take my icon, drag it in. And what happens when you drag it in is it shows you this image. It's just a 2D image. What I'm going to do is press convert it to geometry, which basically puts it into 3D space. Then I'm going to extrude it, extrude it, extrude. I'm gonna bring it to about here. And as you can see, it's 3D already. And this is all within the browser. So I'm gonna rotate it so it pops up a little bit. Now, what I wanna kind of get across is a really futuristic way of showing my design in a different format. I do a lot of logo design, so presenting these to clients in the form of 3D can actually close the deal a lot of the time. It shows it in a different context and in a new light. I'm just clicking to orbit with my left click and right clicking to pan around the page. Now, I don't just wanna have the logo there by itself. I do wanna have the ring around, but I'm gonna create it inside pretty easily. I'm gonna go to the box up here, and I'm going to go ahead and press cylinder. I'm going to make the cylinder smaller. Drag this up like so. I'm going to make this smaller. Bring it out. And I'm just going to click this and it will just snap to the cylinder there. It's going to send to this. Now, the great thing about this is that if I press tab and keep pressing it, I can get into the sort of 2D flat view. Now, it doesn't look very 3D yet. It just looks a bit strange. And that's because we need to add materials and change the lighting. First thing I wanna do is create a ground plane. This will make it look cool on the side there. And right there, we've got some form of 3D happening, but it doesn't look very interesting yet. What I'm gonna do is move my W in and just compose the layout a little bit. I'm gonna press M and I'm gonna go give it a bit more room. It's 3D, so I'm gonna make it look a bit different by rotating it at the top. Now, at any point, I can preview this. The way that Vectory works, I believe, it's similar to a games engine. So it's not like Blender or any other 3D software. It actually uses a game engine or a similar engine to render it out. And it means that it's really good for putting onto your phone, for like mobile websites, for any websites, it's super easy to get the point across. I'll explain that more later as I get into it. Now that I've got this already, I wanna go ahead and add some materials, but what I need to do with my normal icon is press E or convert to geometry. Then I'm going to go ahead and ungroup this. I'm gonna to go to library and inside of the library, there are loads of different materials and environments that you can use, as well as pre-made things as well, like 3D assets. You can literally just drag them in, and uh, there you go, you've got like a 3D asset right there for you to use. I'm gonna select my logo and select this color, blue to pink, I kinda like that. I'm gonna go to blue to pink for the background as well. And for the W, I'm gonna create it as blue. And it kinda looks a bit strange right now, but do not worry. Because what I'm going to do is go to the subsurface and this allows light to 
if I understand it correctly, like to bounce around inside of the object, like it's through skin. So I'm gonna change the main color to white and then change the subsurface color to the color that it was prior. Now again, it doesn't look too fancy because we need to add some lights and this is the fun part. I'm gonna go up here and add a sphere light and I'm going to drag it around and you can see here the sphere light changes everything when you bring it into the 3d space this is probably the hardest thing to do with 3d is just lighting but it gets super easy once you get used to it you just drag it in the sphere light allows it to be like sort of ambient spherical light like a light bulb now the great thing about this is we can increase the size so you can increase the diffusion basically and we can increase the intensity of the light as well and we're going to put shadows on so this light is actually going to act as a real light and it's going to cast the shadow on anything that's blocking it as you can see here so now we're starting to look a bit better it's starting to look good but let's change the color of this light so i'm going to change the color of this light to something blue and we'll probably move it around here because we're going to add a couple more lights as we go the great thing is it's super easy to move everything and just check where it's all going we're going to hold alt and just drag this across and we're going to use the same light but change the color to like a more pink color so i'm going to spend some time to get these lights right to make sure that it looks good but all i'm doing is moving them in 3d space with these parts here now what these lights are doing are just giving it different colors We've got a main light there within the project but right now this looks so much nicer already okay so we've got some colors there with the lights and what i'm going to do is just group these lights together to keep it nice in the layer panel up there on the left now obviously this looks okay and when we press preview you can see that it actually was responsive to our cursor and we can like move around and it looks okay but we need to add some other assets into this to make it look even better now when you're in a portfolio setting and you're setting out your work it's not you can have the best logo in the world but if you haven't presented it in a way that looks good or aesthetically pleasing or even just better than the competition then the client will most likely not want to work with you you could be the best designer but it's all about the selling of the work and we do that through something like this what i'm going to do is create some assets around this to give it some not context but some creative flair i'm going to add a box and this is the easiest method that i found to create some cool stuff we're going to create some glass morphism i'm going to take this box i'm going to mold it into something like this and you can see here it's super simple just to drag it everywhere do whatever i need to do make it as thin and thick that i need it okay and in the textures over here i'm going to actually just go to glass and this is where it gets really fun i'm going to press stripes you can see there that when i move this it's casting this weird refraction inside of this so we can create some cool effects with this in 3d space we can add some more lighting later to make it look even better and i'm going to bring in some more assets over here i'm going to bring in a cylinder and around it so we get this sort of pill shape i like these little pill shapes that we get and we're going to add the material which will be waves i kind of like the waves now if i scroll in you can see the actual glass here with the stripes looks really cool and if i go over to the pill and i scroll in you can see the refraction there but also the lines there's a lot of detail within this now simply i'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this and edit them slightly so we create some smaller ones like so and we're going to have some fun in 3d space moving things backwards forwards create another one of those but all i'm doing is clicking and dragging moving random objects around in cool materials what i love is the glass refractions here it looks really nice you can even bring in let's say a cone we can edit this cone we can make it a bit stubbier architectural glass which is like this clear glass and if i bring in a different sort of glass like the milky glass here you can see it still works but it's not as see-through squares frosted glass that looks cool we've got this that looks good i like the look of this and we're just going to move it around 3d space now, of course what you could do in fact is if you had brand assets such as like a pattern you could actually bring that in with an svg as well and extrude that make it into the pattern in the 3d space but instead of doing that because i only have this right now i'm just going to create some little globes these little glass orbs and they're going to look like bubbles i think i like the idea of bubbles now what i'm showing you in this video is literally the simplest thing you could ever do inside of vectory they've actually got loads of effects in there as well you can see here the bevel that you can actually randomize things you've got effects like twist and skew spherify stretch loads of different things that you can do and it's made for people like us designers who don't know or 
can't be bothered to learn 3D programming. It sort of molds around a 2D design workflow. Now I'm gonna bring in another one of these make it close to give that cool effect there. So after playing around with it, this is what you can come up with. You can come up with some pretty crazy ideas very simply and within the browser. What's more is that it's connected to Figma. They've got a plugin that you can use in Figma to bring this in. If I press preview here, if I'm dragging my mouse here, you can actually see how it all works. I can move it all around and you can see the shadows, you can see the reflections, you can zoom right into the glass, see the reflections inside of the glass and how cool does the material look? Really clean and simple. Now the greatest thing about Vectory, in my opinion, is the ability to share it. And you can share it simply by pressing share and you can copy the embed code so you can actually have it in your website and you can copy the link. And if you go ahead and click the link down below, you'll be able to see this and see it for yourself. You can move in, out. It's great for showing prototypes. You can do literally anything inside of this program. Now, obviously this video is sponsored by Vectory. They wanted to show you this tool that you can use to take your designs to the next level. Whether you want to be a 3D designer, whether you want to just take your design work in 2D, make it 3D and make it even better for your portfolio. There are countless reasons to use Vectory, but the biggest one is that it's free for you to use. You can literally click the link down below and start using it today for free, just like what I've been doing. In fact, I've been playing around with Vectory and I'm gonna be using it more inside my portfolio, maybe in some YouTube thumbnails as well, because you can see here, what you can do obviously it looks very similar but you see all the refractions there it looks amazing and when i go to preview it looks even better thanks for watching this video i thought you would love to see this new program that you should definitely go and try out if you did enjoy this video though please remember to press that red subscribe button ding the bell so you never miss another video coming your way thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one see you soon goodbye Bing.